We're now going to look at three different ways of exporting text ready for use in Unreal Engine 4. Firstly, I've just got a simple file here with a text layer and it has a transparent background. So although there is a background in the file, that layer is turned off and I'm going to go File, Save for Web and save it as a ping 24 and make sure that I have my transparency box checked and this is going to bring in the image with its transparency complete within Unreal Engine 4. So I'm going to click save and save that within my exercise files folder. Now um, just to show you what can happen with different types of transparency I'm now going to create a bit of a sort of motion blur for this text layer. So I'm just going to copy that text layer by dragging and dropping it onto the new layer icon and then I'm going to turn my type into a bitmap by rasterizing it. So I just right click on the layer and choose rasterize type. And then now that it's rasterized, I can apply a motion blur filter to it. So I'm going to the blur menu and choosing motion blur. And I'll just reduce that distance slightly and maybe make it go a little bit above my text and click OK. So now I've got an image that has lots of different types of transparency in it just to show you what happens to that when we bring it into Unreal Engine 4. So going back to Save for Web, again as a ping 24 with transparency I click Save and I'm just going to give this another name. I might just add the word Blur on the end and I'm saving it in the same folder. Okay, the next kind of text that we're going to export from Photoshop, just to show you a different kind of look, is a composition I've created here that's got some text, but it's kind of a hand-drawn looking font with lots of transparency within it. And then I've just created these two ink blots to go behind that. So again, I'm just going Save for Web, saving it as a Ping24 in my folder. And the last type of text I'm going to export is a 3D extrusion of text. So um, I've created a 3D extrusion from a simple text layer. So if I just go to my 3D view here, you can see if I go to layers, I had a simple layer of text and I went to 3D and I created a 3D extrusion of it. I haven't touched anything else in here. and my advice is don't go playing around with materials inside Photoshop because Unreal Engine deals with materials miles better so leave all your material work for inside Unreal Engine 4. But to export a 3D extrusion of your text from Photoshop you go up to the 3D menu so you need to be in 3D mode here and you go up to the 3D menu and you choose export 3D layer. Obviously given you're exporting a layer you want to make sure that you have the layer selected that is your text layer. So we're exporting that 3D text layer and the file format that will work in Unreal Engine 4 is this bottom one, the Wavefront object file. Again leaving the name generic saving it in my exercise files folder and clicking save. I'm just going to leave the texture format as original because generally you want to apply a different texture anyway once you've got inside Unreal Engine 4 and I'm clicking OK. So that's our three types of text files exported. So now inside Unreal Engine 4 I'm going to just click the import button and I'm going to start by just importing the three straight text files we created, the ping files. So I'm just holding down shift or command to select those three files and clicking open. Okay, so the three files come in, they might look a little bit scary when they first come in, but don't worry. Um, we're going to turn them into paper 2D sprites and they'll look fine once we've done that. So I'll save them again and then we'll start with the first text one and we're going to right click on it and create a sprite. So right click 
go to Sprite Actions and choose Create Sprite. Just accept the default name by hitting Return and you can now see it doesn't look anywhere near as scary as it looked before. And I'm going to do the same thing with each of my ping files that I just imported. So I've just saved my sprites and then dragged them out into my level so I've got one copy of each and you can see that the first one that we exported looks perfectly fine just how we've brought it in. The second one however, the one that had the blurry motion blur behind it looks a little bit odd and the third one looks okay but possibly could look a bit better. So let's fix the blur on the middle one. So I'm just going to select the sprite in the level and then what you want to do is come over here to the materials section of the details panel of that sprite and you need to replace the masked unlit sprite material with the one for translucency. So you click to bring the pop-up menu and if you do a search for it's called translucent unlit sprite if you do a search for it you'll see you get nothing showing up and that's because you've got to turn on what's called the plugin content which is the plugin for the paper 2d so you click there to turn it on and then you'll see it turn up you've got two a lit and an unlit so you want to choose the unlit one and now you can see that our blurry translucency that we had behind our never text is showing up much better. The um, other graphic looks okay. Let's um, go in a little bit closer to it. Looks okay. It has translucency happening but see how the kind of hand-drawn effect on the letters is not quite as clear as it was when we were inside Photoshop so again to fix that we need to apply that translucent unlit material and then you can see now we're getting a little bit more detail happening here on the letters so that's how you import and prepare three kinds of text for use within Unreal Engine 4. Now let's import our 3D text. So I'm going to my still text object file clicking open and you get some import options there. I generally leave all of them the same. The only one I want to change is under import rotation because the XYZ axes inside Photoshop don't quite match the way that they are arranged within Unreal Engine 4. So under X where it says roll I'm going to enter 90 to just um, translate that 90 degrees and then I'm going to click import. So you can see that the text comes in as a static mesh and with a material there to go with it. I'm just going to save those and drag my static mesh out onto the screen. And you can see it comes in with the material that you used in Photoshop. Um, is a nice 3D shape that you can walk around and has that particular material applied. So you could go in and edit that material or you could apply some other kind of material to it.